Hi everybody, I'm back and I'm going to be doing another quick video, hopefully quick. This is my favorites for the month of July. I know they're a little late. Usually I do them the first week in July, but it's just been a hectic month, so let's get going. I've done this twice and tried to upload it. It was like a two-hour upload. So yeah, I'm thinking that if you do it at night, like now, because you can tell the lighting's not as good. Um... Seems, it seems like everybody's uploading and maybe it gets bogged down. I don't know. That's just my idea. But let's get going. So a lot of it's from Pier 1. This is like a home decor favorite. So usually I'll do bath and makeup and stuff like that. But I have candles. Yeah. And lots of stuff. Excuse the sniffles. It's allergies. A lot of this stuff I've reviewed. But I'm just going to go over it real quick again. I got this from Pure One, a little pottery barn. Love, love, love this. This is so soft. It was not inexpensive, but it will be worth it on our sofa, our new sofa. It's going to be so beautiful. Um, Anthony's going to love it. The one I wanted, I probably should have gotten a Pure One because it had a satin back on it and this one has a like a velour back um yeah so I don't know whether I'll take it back um they're both furry and they're both the same color I think this one was twice as much though but I don't know anyway so then I got to go with it on our couch um, one thing I like about Pottery Barn is you can buy the pillow inserts and then you just buy the outside and you can switch your pillows up whenever you want, which is cool. Saves you money in the long run. When you buy the pillow, it doesn't, but, um, I have this pillow. thought it was really cute, um, to go on our sofa. And then, it, yeah, it just unzips and, like, I thought at Christmas time. I can just pack the couch with um, Christmas pillows. Where is the zipper? So yeah, like the insert is 22 and the cover is 1950. But once you get enough inserts, your covers are only going to be 19 dollars or something like that. So it's not bad at all. Um, so yeah, it just unzips and you take it out. Really nice. I wish it was goose down. A lot of the pillows I have on the couch now, the one that we're going to get rid of, the yellow one, um, are goose down. So I'll probably take the inserts out. I'm going to have to rip the pillows apart, but any anyway, oops, I just ripped the tag off. So I'll probably put the tag back inside just in case I get an inkling of exchanging Ellen. But let me put that in there. I have so much stuff. It's crazy. Absolutely, absolutely crazy. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna set this over here. And then okay I've got candles. Let's do the lamp snacks. These are another favorite. These are for um, for both sides of the bed in the master ba master bathroom master bedroom we're going to have a tele a 19 inch television mounted above the jetted tub hey that'd be awesome lay in the tub and watch tv uh, i thought about it anthony goes hey that's a good idea so yeah i don't want a big like 32 inch um television in the bathroom so I'll find some way to um, maybe put a plant over it to kind of hide it. I'll put like a shelf above it and then maybe have some plants hanging down. And then when I want to take a bath or something, which will probably be every day, um, take the plants down or something. I'll have to ask the designer because the television in the bathroom is probably not going to be real attractive. Now they wrap this up really good. Both white. <clears throat> I'm assuming they're the Hayworth collection. I don't know that for sure. But this is what they look like. I'm not going to pull it all the way down. So it's white and it's pretty tall. 
Now on Anthony's side of the bed, he's going to have a dresser. I'm going to have a nightstand, so his side is going to be taller. But I don't want it to be too matchy-matchy. I just think that looks a little... And I don't want too many mirrors. I have a lot of mirror stuff going on already. So let's see. Here's a lampshade for one of them. And it's crazy. It happened to turn out that the lampshade has a teal stripe around the top. And that's the color one of the main colors of our house that I was going to use. I was going to do teal and browns, but anyway, yeah, and then this <sighs> took off to the bottom of the bag. What is it called? I don't remember what these are called. They hold the lamp together. I'm just going to pop it in there real quick so I can th throw the shade on and move on because there's a bazillion things. I won't get through all the candles. Uh, I know I've already reviewed them all, but these are just favorites, so, um, and excuse my neck, I can barely move today, but yeah, so that's what it looks like, I will move it back, and it always has a little string I've got to cut, so this is what it looks like with the finial on, I might even switch up finials, but for now, this will do, it's just a white, um, finial, finial. So that's what the lamp looks like. I think it'll look really nice. One for each side of the bed. So there's another favorite. Just gonna throw it in there. And then I took the orange duvet back. I just thought there is no way I can have a bed in the master that does not have pink and white in it. There's no way. And I thought orange is not one of my favorite colors. It just isn't, and it's not one of Anthony's. So, yeah. He wants black drapes in the master. No, we had them in our other house. I never filmed it. It looked good. We had all black furniture and black drapes and dark blue paint. It looked good, but it wasn't real thin, and it's my turn. There's two of these. Well, obviously, I don't need to show you the other one. Here's the other one. I've got to get these packed up, so that's why I thought I would show you and put them away. I packed them so well. I don't want them to break either. And this is a pottery barn one that I saved. Um, this is another quilt that's going to be at the bottom of the bed. We have two or three quilts. Um, one's like a ruffled, like a white ruffled. If you know the Emily and Merritt collection from the Pottery Barn Kids, that's the collection I got. Anyway, so yeah, this is, it's got, I don't know why it has holes, somebody poked holes in it, but you can see it has little, little bumps on it, little like, um, there's already one that's on one of the pillows, it has little, like, puff balls all over it, so it's like a quilt, um, these, are, I got two shams, and then here's the quilt, really nice, it's called the eyelash quilt. And this is called the Eyelash Sham. That's another favorite from Pottery Barn. Oh, it's crazy. I've got to pack this stuff up tomorrow. Okay. And let's see. I was going to do bath stuff. Oh my gosh. And then I did the Christmas in this Christmas in July. Um, if you missed it, I'm sorry. Fortune Cookie Soaps had their Christmas in July sale. Um, I stayed up all night one night, and I happened to look at the clock, and I missed it. So I didn't get a full box like I did last year. Crazy. I got some cool stuff. Um, I think I got about eight or nine of their Christmas in July Fortune Cookie Soaps. 
they'll bring them back at Christmas or around fall. They'll start, start selling the same ones again. You just have to wait. That's the problem. So, um, and then I showed the other day that glass um, from Pottery Barn to store my bath bombs. I've got a couple of those. Let's see. This is another favorite. Um, and it has like a, I was going to put it on the top of the dresser, but I saw these flowers. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with them. Um, the canopy bed is going to have a canopy over the top of it. Um, one of those real lacy, not lacy, real, um, it's like tool and you can hang it. It's for somebody that has, um, that doesn't have a canopy bed, but you can hang it from the ceilings. I used to have one at my apartment, threw it away. Don't know why. Anyway, but I bought these flowers. I thought they were really cute. They have like feathers and rhinestones on the inside. I bought a whole bunch of them. So I just need to get a pretty vase. They had a beautiful, like a teal kind of broken glass face and yeah obviously these stems are way too long so there's that and then um, I showed you guys these these are the automatic candles you turn them on when you want them to come on and you shut them off when you want them to go off just once and then after that they are programmed so if you have them in an odd position like above sink you don't have to climb up there or light it you know that they're not scented it kind of sucks that way um, the ones that they have at Pottery Barn that have kind of a fake wick I don't really like those from a distance they look real but and then I took the lanterns back because I'm going kind of more rustic look and those lanterns were, I bought two of the same size, should have been small, large, larger, you always want to go in odds, and I bought two of the same shape, and it wouldn't have looked right, so anyway, here's what the candle looks like, I'm saying it, I can't pull the plastic out, or the battery will die, so, yeah, but it's real wax, and it's unscented, so... We have plenty of scented candles, so let's go through the candles real quick and then I will end this. Otherwise, I can do a part two to my favorites. Otherwise, this will go on forever. And here is a favorite. This is Cherry Blossom Sangria. It's just because it's pink. And yeah, these don't throw very far, but they're good for an end table because they don't get too... The three wicks get really, if you knock them off, you can really have a big mess. And if you have brand new carpet, it's really hard. You can take an iron and a towel and iron the, car, the wax up, but it's just a mess. It's a big mess. So for, for the side of the bed, I would prefer these, the smaller ones. It smells fabulous. It smells like cherry blossom. I don't smell any wine or anything. And then the description is... Celebrate spring with a sweet scent of sangria made from fresh cherry nectar, crisp apple slices, and a hint of wild raspberry. So then I have, oh my gosh. These are another favorite. Oh my gosh, this is so heavy. Now I'm skipping from Bath and Body Works to um, Village Candles. So I bought these at Target. They had a um, ginormous amount of these. These are Glade plugins and they were five fifty eight for three of them. And after a while when you live in a brand new house, if you've ever lived in one, the paint in the drywall and the carpets start to make start to nauseate you. They it really does. It smells great at first, but you need something else to kind of mask it. So I bought a bunch of the same scent of these. Yeah, so I don't know why it's in my favorites, but yeah. And then, so let me show you that candle in a minute. I bought all these luminarias. I found my other one, this one, for the third candle. And these two are the same. They were $2 each, so you have to use them for village candles. They burn, they make them burn down straight because of the shape of the jar. 
Um, I already talked about that in the video. So, I'm going to show you these three candles and I should probably end it. Here is Candy Cane Rain. This is a limited edition. I think it's going to go away. Yeah, I got it early. And it smells to me a lot like marshmallows. It says new. Oh, it smells so good. Oh my gosh. I know I'm going to put this in the kitchen. I love it. So the bottom of the description is, I don't think they have a description on these. It smells a lot. It smells just like candy canes and marshmallows. And it says these burn, um, what is the burn time? 110 to 150 hours. So since I didn't have the other one unwrapped, you put this on the top. I know you may think that it, it kind of masks the smell. I always take this, I peel this off just because I don't like the sticker on there. And then you put this on and it burns down straight down. The first time you burn it, you want to burn it two hours and then blow it out and then relight it after the wax hardens so you have it so it starts burning straight down and not tunneling. Otherwise, these you can get a lot of sitting and you don't want black walls, especially in a new house. The only thing I don't like is the bubbles. Those will go away once you light it. So, there's Candy Cane Rain. There's another luminous, um, Illuma candle, Illuma lid. I bought two of the same, and then the other one's from last year. There's a fall, a fall one in here, and then there is a, I can't even remember. This one's red. This one's tutti fruity. This is not really, this one was 75% off, so I figured I might as well buy it. And put it in the kitchen. It smells just like Fruit Loops. I am not kidding you. Yeah, I would say that is a dead on. So, and I have the Fruit Loop soap from Fortune Cookie Soap. So I thought those two together would be awesome in the kitchen. And then I have their their soap saver from fortune cookie soaps. Oops, it goes this way so the water drains out of it and it doesn't make a chicken fried mess. So this one is new. I've never used it. It looks like it's been used but I've never had it in a shower or anything. So, then there's one more. Um, village candles. And this one is a fall candle. This one's called Autumn Leaf. Pumpkin wreath it smells fabulous. Doesn't smell as good as leaves, but it smells really good. It smells very cinnamony, almost almost to the point of gaggy. So yeah, um, this may be a good bathroom candle. Um, put it up on the mantel. You don't want it close to you. I'm going. I'm getting rid of our. Well, I was going to buy a couple end tables, or an end table and a side table, and then I returned them from from oh, the Pottery Barn. I'm not sure if I'm going to do like a big square ottoman and then get like a tray and do that instead of an end table. I think that's what I'm going to do. No, I didn't. Can you believe that? I didn't break that. Oh my goodness. I bet I broke the candle inside. If I broke that, I will die. That's the one from Bum. So those are the ones from uh, Okay, so those are the ones from Yankee Candle favorites. So I'm at 19 minutes. I'm gonna stop in a few minutes. So let me do a few more candles. And there is no way I can go through all these home products. There's just too many. I'm gonna pack these up. And we can't go down to the garage in case it gets hot. Just hip just popped. Here it is from my hairdressers. This is from Two Rivers Salon and Spa. This one's going to go in our bedroom on our dresser. This one smells just like pink sugar. It's called Bayou Spa. And it smells fabulous. I love the container. I'm going to tap the wax out and use it as a brush holder. 
but it smells just like pink sugar uh, perfume. I love it. Absolutely love it. So, let's get this salt on the bottom there. Okay, so there's that. That way. This is crazy. Okay. I'm going to break this. If I broke it. I think I did. Yep, I broke it. Oh my god. Anthony's going to kill me. This one's from Balm. Oh my god. This is a Mandarin Mint. And it hit the lid and it broke the glass. I know it broke the glass. I don't want to lift the lid. No, it didn't. Oh my goodness. It smells fabulous. This is Mandarin Mint. I love the shape. So there's another favorite. If you're interested, you can go to bohme.com and buy this. They were buy one, the second one was half off. Something like that. And then I got bath and body work, so I'll go through those real quick. And that's about all I can do for my favorites for tonight. Or they will not close. This one is watermelon lemonade. We need a, oh, please tell me this didn't melt in the garage. No. This is a three wick. We need to burn this soon because it's going to be fall. We need to get this house built because I'm not going to be burning watermelon lemonade in summer ones in the fall. It's crazy, but I know it sounds shallow, but it's just, that's just me. I'm anal when it gets to that. It comes to that. I can't wait till they start selling the leaves candles. Now, there's some more three wicks on the bottom here. The rest are soaps, hand soaps. Oh, come on. Okay, this one is. Caribbean Escape. Anthony wants to pick this one out. I'll pull the label off and just burn it. It smells like um like a drink. It smells like uh, papaya. Well, it tells on the bottom. It says dive into the blend of tropical melon, raspberry nectar, le uh, lemon mellowed by creamy coconut milk and raw sugar cane. So there's that one. Oh my god, there is so much stuff in there. Came in my Luxor box. This is going to go on our coffee table or on our ottoman table. And I suppose the little mixing cups. Oh, that was in the other video. More candles out to get through all of them. This I bought you guys are gonna think I'm crazy, but once it's up you will see how cute it is. This is from Pottery Barn Kids and we may be doing a nursery. I haven't said anything. Um, but anyway. For the third bedroom. I bought this from Pottery Barn Kids. I thought this was so cute. It's six feet long. And it's a Jenny Kane bunting garland. And they sent me bunt pans. I went to um to open the box and review it. It's really cute garland. Um it's made out of paper. I probably could have made it myself, but I just bought it. It was twenty dollars. And they sent me bunt pans instead, so I had to exchange it. So yeah. Maybe adopting a baby. How exciting is that? The minute we get our house, we're going to start working on that. So, yeah. It's the first time I've said anything about that. Okay, so, the guest is done. One more candle. 
in the bottom for more. Um, this is a ball thing that can lay down. Put it in like a Coke container. This is pineapple mango. Oh my gosh. We've got to get these out and burn them. These are just not candles that I'm into. Yeah, they must have been. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me get this uploaded. And if you guys want to see more of my favorites, let me know and I will um, come back on. I'm considering buying a crib. Yeah, maybe jumping the gun, but I don't know. It's a definite, definite. Ooh, get off their Norton while you do that. It's a definite in the plans, in the works. But anyway, and then here is an absolute favorite blush. I love this. I'm wearing it now. Hi, uh, Kari. I've never worn it before. It came in a box. Uh, what box did it come in? Oh, it came in my Tom, my Tom box. My yeah, my Tom boxes. I get sent that box every month for review, and this is an awesome blush. I am not kidding you. You can get your hands on this. It's amazing, and it's made by, and this is called Charmed, and it's made by High Car High Carry H I Carry Cosmetics, and it's called Charmed. But it is beautiful blush. I am not kidding. So there's the color. It looks very bright. It is really pigmented. You don't need much. But it is great blush. Anyway, so I will get this uploaded. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you want to see any nursery stuff, I will possibly get it out. We haven't we haven't really delved into that subject yet, but I don't know why I mentioned it. Anyway, so let me get this uploaded and I will see you later. So yeah. I don't know what was up with these. I know they didn't have I know they didn't have leaves candles at the time, so yeah. But on the nursery thing, we are still at the coin tossing phase. We both are in agreement of it, but we aren't getting any younger. But there are kids that need good homes, and if we did adopt, it would be a newborn. I want brand new, fresh from the mother baby so anyway i will let you guys go thanks for watching give me a thumbs up sub 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 and i will see you later have a good night bye